The 110th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade of the Missouri National Guard recently held a dining out at the Kansas City Armory. A dining out is a formal celebration dinner where soldiers can bring their family and friends for an evening that celebrates the unit and their accomplishments. I think dining outs are fun because it's a chance for us to take our spouses out and go to a formal event and get dressed up and just have a fun night and spend some time together. I think it's just kind of a nice break away from the seriousness of what our job is. With everything that is possibly going bad in the world, there's still a good group of people here at the 110 that always have your back and are ready for anything. The camaraderie is really important for events like these to break down the barriers between higher command and the lower enlisted so that we can have that social engagement that is important and necessary for morale in the unit. A dining out has a good mix of formal ceremonial elements as well as humor that is based on tradition. There's a certain script that you have to kind of go by for a dining out. There's certain rules of the mess, but those types of things are fun to carry on tradition. Lieutenant Jeremy Eidelman, the strength manager for the 110th MEB, was tasked with putting the event together. I was responsible for all the initial planning, the budgeting, the f actual flow of the entire night. So there's a lot to consider when building a dining out from scratch. The efforts of Lieutenant Eidelman and the staff that helped him were appreciated by Colonel John Oberkirsch. The dining out was one of the last official events for him as commander of the 110th MEB. I told the staff we're going to have a dining out. We decided what month it was going to be and that's about all the guidance that they had. And everything came together and all I did was say let's do it and the staff interpreted that and knocked it out. I couldn't finish command without this. This is like my way of telling you all thanks in one forum. If I couldn't have done it this way, I, w I would have felt empty leaving command. Retired Colonel Donald Ballard, a Vietnam veteran and Medal of Honor recipient, was the keynote speaker. He applauded the efforts of today's guardsmen. And for you people to have to go back three and four times, I, I'm just amazed. And you're doing it voluntarily, so I want to salute you. Brigadier General William Ward shared that less than 1% of Americans serve in the military, and he thanked the brigade for its service. Soldiers of the 110th, thank you for your service and sacrifice. You are the sheepdogs, the 1% that keeps the flock safe and that helps make this the land of the free and the home of the brave. Phoenix Warriors, let's get it done. Oh.